In this video, we're going to put together a touch sensor using a transistor. So this is the 2N2222 transistor. It's an NPN type bipolar junction transistor. It's really the most common one used in hobbyist electronics, the most well known. And we have a 9 volt battery here, a protective resistor, it's going to limit the current. This is a 2 kilo ohm, 2000 ohm resistor. Since this is a 9 volt battery plugged into the rail, we can use 470 ohms or higher. And uh, I just happen to use 2 kilo ohms. And that comes to the long lead of the LED. The anode short lead of the LED comes to the collector of the transistor. That way the LED will conduct and light up when there's current flowing through it. So collector of the transistor is there. The emitter is here. So right now the transistor is off. It's not allowing current flow from collector to emitter. It's blocking the current. So what we need to do is get a positive voltage to the base. And we're going to do that by me touching a couple wires. So we got a red wire and a blue wire. So the red wire I'm going to put on the same row as the cathode of the LED and the collector of the transistor. So we got the positive voltage coming there. And ultimately that path is going to come through this blue wire to the base of the transistor. I'm going to put it behind the transistor though so it's a little easier to see what's going on. And now to make that connection we're going to have to touch these two wires. Now we're not going to touch them together. We could do that too. Uh, instead I'm going to touch this wire with one hand and then this wire with the other hand. And now you see there's enough voltage and current going through my body to turn the transistor on enough to light the LED up pretty good. And normally a touch sensor you'll have the two uh, conductors like this that come to the uh, base of the transistor and you can just touch it with one finger or uh, both fingers but uh, you'll notice the more surface area you got touching it the more conduction you got the less resistance you're dealing with but in any case this is a real simple circuit but you learn quite a bit about a transistor you can see the little bit of current flowing through my body to the base of the transistor allows a lot more current to flow through the resistor the LED and the transistor 